So when I try to boot my PC, I'm getting this error called error 1962. The error says no operating system found, boot sequence will automatically repeat and after some time I get this error again and my operating system is not booting up. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix this error. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is shut down and restart your computer. Now once you restart your computer successfully, now we are going to enter into the BIOS of your PC. You can do that by pressing delete or F2 constantly while your PC is restarting. So there you go. Here you can see in my system F1 is the BIOS hotkey. So that's why I'm pressing the F1 constantly. And there it is. Now I have successfully loaded up my BIOS. And here we are going to do some settings. To navigate in the BIOS, you need to use the arrow keys enter and escape. Or alternatively, you can use the mouse to control your BIOS. So now let me show you what settings you need to do right over here. So first step first, I will head over to the startup tab just beside the exit. And here in the startup, press the down button and here in the primary boot sequence, go into that by using enter key. Here you can actually see all of your connected hard drives so you can ensure your system has connected hard drives. Now going back into the startup menu, here you can see we got boot mode and here in the boot mode, I'm going to change it from the UFI only to something like auto or legacy only. Once you make the selection, press enter and finally we have made all the needed changes and we are going to exit from the BIOS. But before doing that, we need to save the changes so we will head over to the exit tab by pressing the side arrow and now we are going to save changes and then exit right onto this option we are going to press enter and then click on yes now hopefully this time if your hard drives are okay and there is no else issue with your system you can see the system should boot up normally normally this error occurs on lenovo idea pad and many other systems and there you go guys, my PC is successfully booting up without any errors. I hope you managed to solve this issue as well. So make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.